actually nearly to finish on taking all these pipes out. As you can see, these pipes are quite rusted out, so we're gonna might need to take them away and get them cleaned off and regalvanized. So when we come back for the reinstallation, we've got them ready, clean and proper to go back in original places. Our hero is down on the ground safe. Janis Gertmanis and today I am on one of the sites where the task is to change gas and weather membrane but this time is a bit different technology which I want to show you how we do it let's go and I'll show you how it's been done first things first we need to deflate our roof before we start an unbolting it now, what are the team gonna do? They're gonna take their oxygen masks, they're gonna go up there and open the manhole, which is the service hole for the mixers. They're gonna get that hole open and that's where the, all the gas is gonna be deflated throughout those holes. And we've got, to in total, we have three holes on the top of the roof, so we're gonna get some good, good ventilation. And we're gonna leave that tank for about an hour to deflate and deventilate. And then we come in on the top of it and start and unbolt it and get it ready to take off. We've got two types of roofs. We've got Seca tube, which is inflated tube, which, which holds both membranes in the C profile. The second one is bolted down roof, which usually would be just bolted down, as you can see in here. It's just bolted down. But this roof here is different because on this technology, you've got only gas membrane bolted down and sealed. So gas don't go in the atmosphere. In between gas membrane and weather membrane, there's only pure air from the blowers. They decided, not to bolt it down, which is quite a smart idea, to be honest. They get it over the concrete edge. These are the places where the pipes go in, in metal pipes, which I can show you right here. That is the pipe which goes through these layers here. It just goes through, and you can see these circles cut out. These are the places where these traps literally goes over the pipe and straps next to the tank wall. It's a smart idea. nearly to finish on taking all these pipes out as you can see these pipes are quite rusted out so we're gonna might need to take them away and get them cleaned off and regalvanized so when we come back for the reinstallation we got them ready clean and proper to go back in original places Now the membrane is rolled, all staff are coming down, they're getting themselves off of the inertia reels. One of the persons is going to stay attached on one of the inertia reels and we're going to attach the crane onto the slings to get that membrane down, which you're going to see right now. incredible wasn't it yeah that membrane is so huge but now it lays down in the place where it's gonna be for next two weeks but let me show you what happens next now is the last step we're gonna unbolt gas membrane which was sealed down and bolted down as you can see these little nuts here these little studs not nuts there was nuts on top of them so we took them off we took the plates off so now the membrane from here is already released but we need to do the same all around the tank the ones that is done 
then quite the hardest point starts from today because as, a, as I already mentioned, we have no middle column, we have no straps. This membrane is laying down onto the digest tape right now. So we can't walk on it, which makes the, the job really hard. What we're gonna try to do, we're gonna try to get the roof, the membrane, we're gonna try to get it in some place in the, in the bulk. We do, we're gonna try to get sling around it and pull it from one side and try to get it down that way because there is no any other chances to get it safely down. That is the only safest way we can do and that's what we're gonna do. Right guys, a little update. Um, all the gas membrane is unbolted, as you can see around. It's inside on the digest tape right now. What we're gonna do right now, we're gonna try to drag one of the sides more towards middle, try to get it in one bulk, get a sling around, and slowly lift it out and get it on the floor. We put it our membrane down in right there because when the crane turned, it, it's not really windy now here, but it was a slight wind, so it, it was fighting against the membrane and in the crane there was a weird noises. So we decided to lower it down, get our man off the um, balsam chair, and now we're going to lift it up back and get it right in the place where we wanted it originally. Our hero is down on the ground safe. Uh, we did it professionally as we was planning to do it and everything went exactly, uh, uh, exactly how we was planning. The only thing was the little wind what was fighting against us on the very, very end when we tried to lift it down on the ground. But as you can see behind me, that's the gas membrane down safe, not ruined. There is no any single hole. We are happy for what we did today. We've been working closely today with CCL to remove the, to remove the remembanes. Um, had a lot of dialogue with Yanis, um, been absolutely superb, knows the job inside out. Also with the, the lads that have been working here, uh, worked effectively and efficiently. Uh, cannot recommend them highly enough. Like I say, it's the first time I've worked with them today, worked very closely, uh, very friendly set of guys. Um, the problems that they have come across, which has been minimum, um, they've overcome effectively um, so yeah all I can say is highly recommend good set of lads very thorough know the work inside out uh, very impressed 